What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys and today we're going to be talking about a feature that Samsung moved on your Galaxy smartphone. It's a popular one that we use, a lot of us on this channel anyway, who love customization. And I'm talking about some of the icon settings that used to live inside of the theme park module of Goodlock. They've now been moved to the home up module of Goodlock. Now if you're new to the channel, you don't know what that's about, I'll give a little summary of each of the modules here in a second. But for those who are new, I'll show you where to find those options. Huge shout out to my friend Apex, who is another YouTube creator. He made this video. I actually talked about this in the first video I made about the redesigned version of Theme Park, but it wasn't really obvious to me that perhaps a lot of people were looking for this and I should make another one. He made one, so huge shout out to him. He's got a great channel as well, and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. Also, huge shout out to my four-year-old son, Jonathan, for giving us some uh, animals to hang out in the video. As always, today we have the giraffe, you guys can see right there. And we also have the fossilized triceratops. Huge shout out to him. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to check out our new website as well, samiguru.com, covering everything in written form, just like we do on video here. The link will be below. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. If you're new to Goodlock and new to the channel, we cover a lot of the Goodlock modules here, which is Samsung's suite of customization apps that let you fully customize your Samsung phone, the look, the feel, as well as how you use it. So Theme Park is an application that lets you do a number of things. One of those things, well, I'll show you a little design here. You got the themes. This lets you change like your quick settings and everything. Keyboard, quick panel just lets you change quick settings specifically and not everything else at the same time. The icons, as well as the volume panel, which lets you edit how your volume panel looks. You can get some really cool gradient effects. If you use Sound Assistant, you can do even more cool things with that particular panel. So the big change that I'm talking about right now is Theme Park got a huge upgrade about a month and a half ago where they change the way that the themes are installed. It applies to all the different theming elements of Theme Park, particularly icon packs are now faster to install. However, now when you set a particular icon pack and you go into the edit menu, you no longer have the option to change some of the icon settings and a very popular one that was here before was the icon size. So that option is still available. It has just been moved to a different good lock module. So if you're interested, once you set your icon pack here, you can still change the shape, icon color, tray color, and of course you can choose custom icon packs by tapping up here. You will still set this by saving the name up here and then applying the icon pack. However, if you wanna set the icon settings as well as a couple of other settings, go back to good lock. I don't know why I didn't just use the recents menu there. Go into home up, and then inside home up, go to home screen. Down here in the latest version of HomeUp, make sure you have the newest version of HomeUp installed because it will only apply to that version. I will drop a link to APK Mirror if you haven't have it yet, although it did roll out quite a while ago, so everyone here should have it, particularly if you have an unlocked model of a recent Galaxy phone, S24, S23, etc. App icon setting, make sure this is turned on, tap on it, and now you're going to get one, that icon size. I always leave mine a little bit bigger than stock. You can actually adjust this in increments of 1% so you don't have to jump like five or 10 like some other uh, various OS's out there force you to do. Show app icon label on the home screen and show app icon label on the apps tray. So you can choose if you wanna turn that on or off and how it's going to look either in the home screen or the app tray. So this is where the icon size menu has moved to. It's not been removed as an option, it's just been moved over to home up. It is kind of annoying because now you have to install two modules if you just wanna use a custom icon pack. But I feel like most people who are using HomeUp are probably using Theme Park and vice versa because most people who use GoodLock are using a number of the modules, so it may not be a huge deal. Let me know what you guys think. Now, we have also heard that there's going to be quite a large upcoming update to HomeUp. So for those of you who are waiting for the return of the vertical app drawer, which I know a lot of us, including myself, love to use, the vertical app drawer allows you to scroll through your apps vertically instead of going horizontally that could be coming back in One UI 6.1.1, but will definitely be returning by One UI 7.0, which will launch with the Galaxy S25 series next year. We will also be seeing inside of HomeUp, there's going to be an update that will fix a current bug when you use certain ones of the task changer, the vertical list uh, and the slim list, they both have the close all button in the wrong spot on certain devices. So this will be getting updated to fix that as well. And there's a lot of other changes that'll be coming when the One UI 7.0 beta starts rolling out next month. If you guys are interested to learn how to join the beta, I'll drop a link below to my website where I walk through how to do that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. Future videos like this, again, semiguru.com if you wanna check that out. All of our written content, good stuff over there. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.